Hey everyone in Facebook world, it's so great to connect with you today. So our whiteboard topic is innate and an acorn. So what I used to like to do is to have acorns either out on the, the shelf at the check-in station, you know, like the front desk, and then like a little jar of them around the office when I was talking about an acorn and innate potential. So I would simply just like hold up an acorn and then on the whiteboard I would write acorn and innate potential. And here's the story. So I would ask, what is the potential of an acorn? And obviously the potentials that will grow up into be um, a mighty oak tree. Yeah, and that mighty oak tree can provide shade for you and your family and to have a picnic. Or maybe that mighty oak tree provides shade for you to propose to your future spouse. Or maybe that mighty oak tree has a tire swing on it and your kids play for hours and hours and hours in the long summer days. Maybe that mighty oak tree is where you carve your name and your initials with you and the one that you love. The mighty, the acorn has great potential to do all of those things or we could chop down um, the mighty oak tree and for, and, and make a, a chair where you rock your ba your grandbabies to sleep or maybe it's a we use that wood to, I don't know, create a, a hope chest for all the things you hope for in a future marriage. Whatever it happens to be, that acorn has all kinds of potential in it. But in order for it to maximize its potential, it has to, number one, have fertile ground. It has to have rain. It has to have sunshine. And it has to have the space to grow. Well, your innate potential is just like that. In order for your potential to be fully expressed in your body, you have to have fertile ground, meaning that your body has to be well on the inside in order for you to express at a healthy level. You obviously have to have water, you have to have sunlight, and you have to have chiropractic care in order to make sure that from the messages from your brain to all your cells and tissues can function at 100%. Now, just like the acorn won't actualize its potential if you take it and put it in this jar like it is right here, or if that acorn is thrown onto a parking lot, it's never going to have its optimum potential because it's in the wrong environment. And what happens with our bodies is because of physical, chemical, and emotional stress greater than our body's ability to adapt, that is like taking that acorn and preventing it from being in fertile soil. Because physical, chemical, and emotional stress greater than your body's ability to adapt causes subluxation. And that's like me trying to talk to you with my hand over my mouth. No matter how badly I want to get the message to you, you're not going to be able to understand it simply because there's subluxation present. There's interference in the nerve system. So the best thing that you can do for innate potential to fully express itself is exactly what you're doing. Make sure that you're under regular chiropractic care. As your chiropractor, I check your nerve system every single time that you're here through leg length analysis, through motion palpation and static palpation, through visual analysis, through advanced testing on your re-exam every 12 visits to make sure that you can express innate potential at its optimum. So that's whiteboard topics, innate potential, and acorn. Um, I am going to like go right back on to Facebook Live and have it as a separate um, broadcast right now to do two more because I promised you once a week and I didn't do it yesterday and um, I won't be able to do one tomorrow but I want to keep my word to you and have five a week so I'll see you again in just a minute